The reason you're not seeing me right now is uh, because the uh, well, your antennas are down, and if I were to turn on the cameras and the transmitters right now, I could possibly fry half the county with uh, UHF low band microwaves. This week's school lunches Monday macaroni and dumplings with dip and sauce apple danish Tuesday pizza barge with potato faces Wednesday tuna stir fry with milk pre-teen spring slam and slip and slide Sunday at noon Hot Dog Rally with live music from the Jazz Dazzlers at Motley Horns B Field on Sunday. That's uh, June 6th. Sorry, no, that's June 5th. Number one, love yourself. Number two, hate yourself. That's the important dichotomy. Three, look up the definition of the word dichotomy. It's important. You're going to need it for the next step. Step four, embrace your dichotomy and make it sell. Step five, use the money you made selling your dichotomy to buy a new wristwatch. Step six, lose the braces. That's right, she thought you were going to be successful thanks to your straight teeth, but the braces just make you look like a faggot. Lose them. Step seven. Step seven is lose about two kilo. It'll make you feel better about yourself. Self-confidence is the first step too. Step eight. Create your own motivational program. Once you've started your own, insert your name here's motivational program, you'll get a really big boom in self-confidence. And he's one of the one of the guys we chose here today for poetry in the park. He's a great guy. We thought it'd be good because it's fishing season and uh, it's a good time to come out to a park like this, beautiful park, and and to read some poems. I don't understand most poems, but this one's about salmon and smoke, so I I feel pretty good about it. Well, uh, Bob is right. Uh, Hunting season's over, fishing season started, and... uh, I have no regrets about that. <laughs> Living by the river. Riding cars to Fresno. Across the whole country. Steep towns, flat towns, flat even New York. In oceans in Europe. Oh, oh. In libraries and galleries. In the factories they make rubbers in. This whole spinning show. Dragon Shaft. Starring Sean Connery as Quinto the Sorcerer. It must be you who raped the queen. In a land cursed by darkness. A young boy discovers an amazing destiny. Go ahead, put your hand up my wizard's sleeve. Gently now. All the way, that's right. David Pallas as Darien. Uh, How? Like this? Ah, that's right. All the way. Do you feel that? Wrap your hand around it. Now pull. Gently now. Yeah, pull. Harder. Pull a bit harder. Keep pulling. Harder, boy. Harder. Action. Pull harder, damn you! And romance. I can hardly believe you used to be just a young goat. Yeah, I can hear it. Gotta listen to your bullshit. And glory. Wrap your hand around the shaft! It's what? Well, I'm you! Dragon Shaft. On 
VHS and Betamax, December 15th. We wrote this in a trochaic hexameter. Um, Pour your mead with nigh a tear, ne brow nor velvet beard. That was just great. That was really good. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, quite a wide variety of meads from all around the world. Yes. Not just mead. So, for example, uh, Braggit. Uh-huh. Braggit uh, is uh, brewed with honey and haps. That's a Welsh mead. You mean Wales? Wales boasts a mead called Braggit. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh, and boast they should indeed. I think uh, that's one of the have, best. Have you had Braggit then? Yeah. Well, like I said, it's one of the best. All right. Okay. Uh, you should eat Braggit with uh, some kind of a rye cracker uh, and nothing on top. Uh -huh. According to this, it's from the German Gewurz, which refers to various spices added to the uh, meat. I thought you were talking about berserks. No, this is not about berserkers. This is about uh, spices in the meat. I know that. I just thought you were talking about berserks. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking about berserks. What was the other one? Uh, you mean sack mead? Scott sack mead. That's uh, the one that's got sack mead. Or did you mean Trojniak? Ah, uh, Scott Trojniak. Uh, that's what I meant to say. Okay. What's oh. that one that he recommends? Oh, uh, the mead that he recommends is called Trojniak, which oh, is it's a called Polish Trojniak. Mead. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, well then what's Scott's name? Uh, I think it was Tucker. No, I wouldn't remember a Tucker. It was something Polish, but uh, Wozniak or something, I think, Scott Wozniak. Ah, uh, yeah, he might have been a Wozniak. He's a Wozniak, isn't he? Now, let's not go there. Oh, eh? gosh. But, you know, uh, my favorite meat it is, uh, is the... 98 V8 VWAX, the hard rock station that rocks so deep we put your butt to sleep. Ladies, wear your white V8 98 rock radio t-shirts and get a free margarita in you. Then hit the barbecue pit and laser stage. And next week we'll be broadcasting from the State Fair, so don't forget to come down. Check out the uh, V898 bandwagon. Pick yourself up a keychain or a beer koozie. And coming up on the top of the hour now, we've got a slow and slippery Wednesday morning, and I got tickets for the Trucks Brothers. It's at Wind Hill Stadium on the 30th, and drink with ID, no under 18s. Brought to you by Fender and KFC Crushers. KFC Crushers, cut your balls off, feed your dick to your dog. And next up, we're going to plug into this week's Top Rocks 10 list. But first, we got Mega Breath with Pale as well as Spandex Labyrinth. Gutter Box is a new Papa Smear coming up for your ears. Keep it tuned and plugged into Amp Up V898 VWAX. Welcome to Pizza Man. Listen, boys, if you want a roughing house, and go ahead, it's a free country. You just can't do it here, clear? Yeah, all right, let's go outside. Yeah, we'll settle this outside. Yeah, come on, Archie, we'll take it outside. Yeah, it's all right. No problem. Hey, no problem here. We'll, we'll take it outside. Don't want to bother your customers. Yeah, go ahead, take it outside there. I'll just be behind the window here. If you need me, I'll be watching you. Sure, I might touch myself. Might do that. It's free country. Why not? Man can do what he pleases. Jesus. Staring right at me Found 
future. Can there be anything but an eternal present? So basically there were some issues with last week's broadcast that led to some complications. So we just wanted to say sorry about that and uh, everything will be... Did the, uh, the FCC, what did they say? Did they get back to you about that? Or did they... Yeah, well, uh, as you know, uh, one of the representatives from the local branch of the FCC came by. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, apparently it's in uh, violation of a number of... Uh, Number of codes, uh, local, both local and federal codes. Oh, and, uh, oh, boy. Hey, wait, what's this go. on here, though? It says, uh, refusal. Oh, this must be, this, this is a typo or something. This says, refusal to cooperate with FCC inspector. Are you, what, that's, what are you kidding? Well, uh, basically, you know, Chuck came, came down. And, uh, well, I had a couple of words. I had a few words to say to him. What would you tell him? Well, uh, R, R E the, uh, the signal issue, uh, I just kept it going. And I told Chuck, if you want to, if you want to turn it off, if you want to go check it out, you're going to have to, you're going to have to do it out of my cold dead hands. Oh, Bob. Oh man. All right. Well. I'm sure you apologized to him, right? Did you write him a letter? Did you send him a fax or something? Uh, I suggested to Tron Scone it might be a good idea for him to send him a fax clarifying. This is not Tron's deal, buddy. And now we're in a heck of a lot of boiling water here. And I just want to, you know, I feel like a like I'm trapped under a fish hole here. Like I'm ice fishing, you know, trying to get out of the, you know what I mean? Hey, you know uh, me and Chuck have a little bit of a history. There was that issue over the over the elk that he claims to have... That's got nothing to do with TV 15 here. I'm putting my foot down. You gotta apologize, buddy. We are all here to worship and to be at one with him. Or her, right? <laughs> I'm open to it. I'm open to it. Communicate with this woman. Just because she has a 13-ounce jar of uh, Parmesan cheese or whatever doesn't mean that she's not one of God's creatures. And now is your time, Rev, to show your stuff. And you tell yourself, God is listening to me. So instead of yelling at her the way I was all ready to do, I had all my, I had my whole thing thought up in my head. I'm going to say, what, would you forget the uh, kitchen sink? You want to go down to Home Depot next door? That's <laughs> what I was going to say to her. But I didn't say that, folks. You have God right there in your heart. He's texting your cell phone. <laughs> He's in your pocket. Or whatever. You know what it is. <laughs> You've got an iPhone, Bill. You just got, he just got the new iPhone. Anyway, God is mobile. God is mobile. God is mobile before Verizon. Okay? 
<laughs> and if you got some complaints about Verizon, you probably got some complaints about God, too. But that's natural as well. It's not the end of the world. Not yet, anyway, right? We'll wait for Jesus to figure that one out when he wants to come back. And guys, <clears throat> if I could just get serious here, right? You know, I, I joke I joke around a lot, but I just want to get serious here, and I just want to say a prayer. All right, so if you could join, join me in this prayer, just bow your heads. Here goes. Holy Christ, I know we have troubles from day to day. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Derbersville is a little-known corner of the world, but for Tron Scone, head technician and craft services manager at TV15. Well, it's it's my whole world. It's it's everything. TV15 is a public access station that recently underwent some changes, mostly by necessity, when two of the station antennas were destroyed by the tornadoes that swept through late last summer. Tron spent most of his adult life as an engineer at General Electric, where he earned the respect of most of his peers and his employers. Nonetheless, Mr. Scone's heart always lay in custom electronics, race car, model train related arts, and ham radio. One ham radio enthusiast publication called him the Sultan of Single Sideband. Yeah, I can't say if that's true or not, but uh, I'll, I'll take it. When not fixing antenna hookups, Tron's voice can be heard on Sound of the Lakes, a weekly segment featuring poetry by Robert Frost and images and video of local nature spots. He also oversees the TV15 craft services table. This is Tron. Well, well, my initial controversial choice to include my specialty pickle and cream cheese finger witches to the menu has uh, since been a surprise hit. Uh, which is now embraced by most staff members. <laughs> uh, we thought, oh, Frederick Douglass. We got to do Frederick Douglass. Yeah. We, no, no one's done it. Well, hey there, Tom. Frederick. Good morning to you. What are you doing on this Lord's fine day? Well, I was just picking cotton like every other day. Racially, it was a bold step. Uh huh. Some days I'm just so sick of it. Sick of what, Frederick? Sick of working for them Master Whitey. Well, as the Bible does say, a man gotta work what a man gotta work. But working for no master ain't written in no Bible that I read. <laughs> So we, we felt it was really in poor taste to do blackface. Absolutely. We knew right away that that was not a tasteful choice. And history has taught us that African Americans are offended by that. Right, so Kim suggested that we, uh, why don't we wear ski masks? Ski masks, yeah. What you praising the praying to do? I've been praying long and hard. And the good Lord Jesus Christ done came to me in a vision. What? Yep. And he said to me, Frederick Douglass, you jive turkey. It's time for you to get your damn self free. My it Lord. It worked out great. My I think this is a Douglas very tasteful choice. Yeah. I think some people were scared. The kids were scared by the ski masks. But yeah. But, you know, it was a scary time in American history. Next time Massa Wadi comes out here, I'm going to strangle his to death. Strangle his to death? Well, I never uh, had such and, a And, you know, we understand that theater own. has the power to That's right. shape minds. That, uh, <clears> it has the power to, to mold minds. But what it also has the power to do is to, to change minds. But what it does have the power to do is cause a bit of a stir. Mm. Now, what in Jimmy Blazes is going on here? Uh, Y'all N-words get back to work. And if we're going to rustle some feathers, you know, you the more the merrier. Yeah, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. That's just art. My yeah. damn self. Boy, who's your master? Me. Uh, I know how to read. Uh, I know how to write. Uh, and I know what's uh, right. Uh, oh. 
What are you doing, you crazy? Art imitates what? life and in the best moments, vice versa. He's been saying that for quite a few years. Yeah, three years. Yeah. I've been saying that for three years. Oh, really? mm-hmm. Hallelujah. 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 Dear God, you took Mr. Bill Evans away from us uh, at perhaps an inopportune time. Uh, Many of us love his wit and his artistic eye, his balsa wood structures and um, sculptures and airplanes. Uh, So we just want to say how sorry we are that he's not with us. He is a noble, noble man, a prince among thieves, so to speak. So you're in heaven now, buddy. All right, see you there. Holly came from Miami at the He shiked her way across the USA. Plucked her eyebrows on the way. Shaved her leg and then he was she. She said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. Said, hey, honey, take a walk on the wild side. from TV15 and the Mindstorm Group. You can find us on the internet at tv-15.com. If you enjoy the show, please leave a rating and a comment on the TV15 Podcast iTunes page and tell your friends about us. And remember, negative thoughts send cohorts vibrations which attract meteorites. Please focus only rainbow vibrations on the oracle of selflessness as we blast off into 2012. Goodbye for now. Chew that stuff. You could chew it. Yes, sir.
Cut it with a steak knife. No, you could cut it apart. Cut it right apart. Oh. Oh.